Welcome back to the next lesson for SAP business objects. And uh, in this lesson, we will see that how to use multiple queries in order to create our reports. So what we have seen so far is uh, when we are creating a new document, so we are making use of some queries, but basically we are using a single query in order to extract the data from the database. So let's see that how we can use the multiple queries. So uh, we'll click here on the new document in order to create a new report. So the system will add a new document and uh, once we will specify the data source report one will be added as well. So here we go. So we'll have to select the data source and as we know, we will be selecting the universe as the data source and uh, we will click OK and then we will select one of the available universe from the list. Again, we will select OK and uh, then we will move on to the query panel. And uh, so this is where we'll be spending some time and uh, we are currently working on one of the query and let's design a very basic query. So uh, I'll go here for the article ID, article label, category and sale price. So these are the four objects that I want to display on my report. And currently we are not making use of any filters. All right, so this is the query and uh, by default this query is being referenced as query one since we are making use of multiple queries and we will add the second query in a while so it's again recommended to give these queries a proper name so let's rename this query one and let's call it articles query and again uh, on your system you may have different tables different data so you can give the appropriate name to your first query so I will click here on the drop down arrow and I will click on rename and I will give a new name and uh, I will call it article query and click OK. So this is the first query that uh, I have available. All right. And uh, now I can click here on run and uh, as you know that the system will then generate the data and the link will be established and uh, again later on we can come back to the query panel we can update uh, different types of information uh, but before we continue uh, we can add one more query at this stage and then we can click on the run button so let's add one more query so here we have the button to add a query so if you click there and again you will have to select a data source so you select the data source universe and then click ok again select any item from the list again click ok so this is now your query 2 and for query 2 i will select the objects from a different table so i will go for article id and the color code amount sold and quantity sold so these are the four objects that i have selected from query 2 and uh, i can call this query or save this query as for example sales query okay so this has been renamed as sales query and now i have two queries one is the article query and the other one is the sales query all right so once you have designed your queries then you can come down here and click on the run button and you can uh, take a decision that which queries you want to run out of these two do you want to run just one query or both so you can click here on the drop down arrow and you can take the decision that do you want to run the articles query alone or you want to run the sales query or you want to run all the queries okay or if you just click here on the run button so it will run all the queries and here we go so we have uh, we had two queries and once we click on the run button so the system has uh, generated the data based on both of the queries and for each query separately system has created a separate table as we can see here so the first table is 
So definitely coming from the first uh, query, then we have the second table, uh, which has been coming from the second query. And on the right side, we can see all the different objects. Uh, some of the objects are coming from query one or the article query. Some of the objects are coming from the sales query and so on. So that is how we can create a, a report based on multiple queries. If you want to add one more query, so we can do that as well. So in order to create one more query, so we will go back to the query section and again click here on the edit icon. And uh, we will be back at the query panel. So here we have two queries, the article query. And if we click here on sales, so we can see what we have in the sales query. All right. So if you want to add one more query in the system, so all you have to do is click here on this button, add query, and you will have to select the data source, universe, click OK, and select one of the item from the available universes, and again click OK. And then you will have different tables and you can choose uh, from uh, different options that from which table you want to display the data. So for example, for my third uh, query, I want to add here the shop facts ID, article ID, and shop ID. So these are the three objects I want to display for as part of the third query. And uh, I will just rename this query as shop query and click OK. So this is the third query that I have available. And again, if you have lots of queries and each query will take some time to extract the data, maybe the you are using a remote a database connection or, or some of the other issues. So it is not necessary that you will have to run the previous two queries as well because the previous two queries you already had uh, have already run and now all you have to do is just run the third query which is the shop query. So if you just run the shop query that would be enough for you to obtain the data. All right now the system is asking that for the new query where you want to display the data in the uh, in a table in a new report or in a table in the existing report or no need to uh, add the table just extract the data or just display here the objects okay so again the first two options are very simple because system will do the work for you but let's try the third option and uh, which means that we will have access to the data but we will add the table manually and then we can just uh, display the data on to the table so let's go for the third option and click ok all right and again, uh, what we will have to do is we'll have to insert a table. Uh, we'll go for the vertical table and select the location where we want to display the data. And then this table is already selected, which is being referenced as block three. So we will click here on the first icon so that we can see how many columns have been assigned. So currently zero columns. And then all we have to do is to drag the columns that we want to display on this table. So we'll go here for the first object, which is the shop facts ID. So we can select the shop facts ID and drag it on to the column section. All right. So I will just drag this uh, object here and uh, then maybe the shop ID. And then let's go for the article ID. And again, we can directly drag it onto the table as well. All right, so here we have the table based on our third query. Now, again, we could have gone for the, for the first two options where the system will automatically add a table for us. So in that case, we would not, would not have to add this manual step but just to show you if you had if you have to add uh, a blank table so how to insert the columns in the blank table so this is what you will have to perform 
all right so let's quickly add one more query and uh, in that in that example we will be adding the table uh, automatically uh, through the system so let's add one more query click on add query and uh, we'll go for universe and select the first item click ok and uh, will not rename it I'll, I'll just leave it as query 4 and very quickly I will add two or three different items so I'll go for uh, article ID article label and let's go for family name all right and in this case we'll just have to run the new query which is the query 4 and now system is asking that do you want to insert a table in the new report or in the current report so let's go for the current report so in the current report a new table will be added with the selected objects and click ok and we have this table just underneath the existing table and we can just change its uh, position so what we can do is we can just close these two uh, windows and that is from this top side we can just turn these two windows off and now we can just select the table and change its location all right so here we have the new table okay so here we have the article id article label family name so this is the query 4 and this is the previous query that we had uh, created so uh, again if we go back so we can see here that we have four different uh, queries so we can keep on adding more and more queries and each query will have its own objects you can put the filters and lots of other things and uh, again you can then decide that how many queries or which queries you want to run at any given time and uh, if I cancel so you can also decide that uh, some of the queries will be visible in report 1 some will be visible in report 2 and three and so on all right so in this lesson uh, we have seen that how to work with the multiple queries and in the next lesson we will see that how to work with multiple reports